Hey everyone, welcome back to my video blog where I cover Azure, data topics, and a little bit of personal development as well. In today's video, I'm going to cover the reasons why I would still choose Azure Analysis Services over Power BI Premium, even with the great announcements and feature enhancements from Ignite back in November. So if you missed the announcements, I'll put some links in the show notes that would help. Um, but probably the biggest announcement was around the preview of larger data models, uh, up to 400 gigabytes that are now available in Power BI Premium. Prior to this announcement, this was probably the number one reason why I would direct customers to Azure Analysis Services. With the previous limit of 12 gig for the model, uh, many customers were hindered and really had no other choice than to use AAS for that true tabular model in-memory data processing experience. Now, some of the other highlights were around security and privacy capabilities around Power BI, uh, application lifecycle management for workspaces, and uh, some integration on the newly announced Azure Synapse Studio a topic that I'm sure you'll be hearing more from me about in the near future. Um, you know, in reality, Power BI is a great product and they are adding new features all the time that are helping it along the journey of becoming a complete enterprise BI tool. But what I've heard from customers is developing in Power BI causes somewhat of a failure in their tried and true corporate development life cycles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the top three reasons why I would still use Azure Analysis Services for model deployment subject to your own opinion, right? Number one reason is Visual Studio and source control. Now, because I can develop my analysis services model using Visual Studio with a more typical software development lifecycle by using source control, uh, GitHub being my preferred option, uh, but there are many of course, and I'm able to have much more control over what is happening with that model and the details associated to it, right? So I lose this ability by using Power BI Desktop for development unless I want to manually check in and check out my Power BI files. So check that out as an option. Second reason is object level security. Now, Power BI has a great process for implementing row level security, but for some customers, it needs to be more granular, right down to the column or cell level. Analysis services give us this ability with native functionality out of the box, and it uses Azure Active Directory as its authentication system in the back end. The third is that AAS may prove to be less costly. Now, because AAS is an Azure service and separate from Power BI completely, we have two advantages. One, we only pay for the usage by hour. And two, we can use Azure Automation to turn the service off when we don't need to use it. Think of outside of the time and normal hours. When you purchase a premium node, you're paying for a monthly charge flat. If you don't require the dedicated compute to satisfy your user base, say you only have a couple hundred users versus thousands, um, you, but you still need to support the larger models, AAS is likely the way to go. So by no means do I want to discourage you from using Power BI for its full capability and availability. The purpose of this video is to really call out the scenarios where you may not be able to fully control how your data model is being developed and this gives some good alternatives. Power BI is a fantastic tool that offers a great number of features and is competitive with any of the enterprise level BI tools on the market. So make your own evaluation based on what your personal requirements are and what your company mandates. If you like this video, I would appreciate you to subscribe to my channel, uh, give it a like and uh, and share it with your friends, right? Anybody you feel would benefit from this and other videos I do. Feel free to ask any questions or leave comments down below. But otherwise, thanks for listening and have a great day.